garage. We got a canoe. Uh, anyway, we got no heat call, um, and it's all snowy over here. So we have no call for heat, but it sounds like something's running. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so we got her open. She's flashing us a code. So we got a flashing yellow. So according to that, we have flashing yellow improper polarity. Ah. Well, we'll see what's going on with that. That's a weird one. Let's see if we can find the power to this thing. So typically if it's a reverse polarity, that means you uh, the hot is hooked to the neutral and the neutral is hooked to the hot. Um, and the flame sensor just won't work. Now the inducer is running non-stop. So this doesn't just happen overnight unless there's some electrical work done. So most likely that module is probably messed up. So yeah. So anyway, we're going to dig a little more into it and see what's going on. So yeah, see, so it actually has a thing here. Ignition control is polarity sensitive. Hot leg of 120 power must supply. Uh, supply must be connected to the black line. Power lead is indicated on wiring diagram or ignition lockout will occur. occur. So that's pretty much what's going on here. Now, if the polarity is correct, um, it's possible that the board died. So um, in some cases, this will be fine. But uh, and we're going to try to switch it. And if it still doesn't do it, then I would say the board's no good because it's detecting a polarity problem when there actually is no polarity problem. So and this board looks pretty new. Uh, I guess they have like a little handyman guy who takes care of this thing. So maybe he changed up the board and reversed some connections. Who knows? But we're going to open this up, swap it, and see what happens. Yeah, so check this out. See, white to black, black to white. So... That could be our issue. So let's swap it and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like somebody tried to fix it because I'm still getting the same error. So this guy's no good. So we gotta see if we can order one up because it's saying the polarity is reversed when it isn't. Uh, we went and picked this up. So we're gonna go ahead and swap it out. So here we go. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna find your model and with the 843 right there so we use e for orange so it's these little program things so i already snapped it off but you basically snap the one you need and that's what it looks like and then you're gonna go ahead and plug it in through there so we're gonna do that and then i believe it's uh numbers up just like that and just shove it on in there hard to do this one handed just like that and it is programmed for this particular model module so let's go ahead and hook it up okay so it's in there uh, the old one actually had a D chip in there so I changed it to D just to match so let's power this up and see what happens hopefully with no more blinking uh, orange light because I have no idea what it is at this point okay so got everything corrected and I got a nice green light so I think we're good so I think it's calling for heat I got to check but yeah, I think it is actually okay so we're receiving a call for heat as you can see there I'm going between uh, W and C um, I didn't see the igniter come on there is an extra one in there we'll see what's up with that but yeah so, um, we gotta see why the igniter's not coming on. So first things first, we wanna make sure we're getting voltage to it. Um, see if it's actually calling for it, and then go from there. So it looks like this one's a multiple offender. <laughs> so anyway, yep. Okay, so I'm ohming out the uh, igniter and I'm getting an open line. So it looks like this igniter's no good. So we'll see what's going on with that. And we'll go from there. Okay, so yeah, it's it's broken. So we're yeah, that's that's dead. So we're gonna grab another one. Thankfully, I have a ton of them on the truck, so I'm gonna go get one, and hopefully it works. Okay, so this is a White Rogers hot rod. These things are awesome. Uh, I'm just testing it because you never know it bouncing around the truck. So I am getting continuity, so this one is good. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and see what happens. So here we go. 
Yeah, and uh, I got a couple of these in the comment. I am cleaning the flame sensor. I usually always clean it. I don't always film it, but yeah, I'm cleaning the flame sensor as you can see. So yeah, anyway, we can get this back together. Okay, so we got her powered up. We got a green light, awesome. Now let's see if this igniter comes on. And don't worry, I'll clean it all up once, it, uh, once I verify it works. Okay, I heard a click. We have uh, igniter. Should be getting gas valve any shortly. I'll just kind of stand back just a bit, just in case. Okay, cool. We got ignition. Ooh. Listen to that thing rumble. Cool. So it looks like we're good. We're going to check that blower motor because, uh, yeah, it's rumbling. Quite a bit. Anyway, looks like we're good to go. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification. Comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.